Pony! Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous! And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies! No pony! <coughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute! Pets need looking after! Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wiggly, snakey. An alligator. Alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet. A hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. <laughs> No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy, Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Hell! Wow! They've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny. Or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry. I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da, da, dum. Do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum. Eh? Hey? We're here. Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby dolly! Baby dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! They've changed nappy. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, jelly but not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew. For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Ah! Oh! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's 
too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. It worked. Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding <whistles> Abracadabra. Uh, boiled eggy. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Food delivery. What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot... Tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> What's that buzzing noise? I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston! We Honey Rabbit! Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit! What's going on? Bunny rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty catty. <laughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdy Wordy! Birdy Wordy! Phew! Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah! <laughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magicking. 
I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back. And it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now... As it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly, but look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben! I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it, then? Well... You can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> ah! Ah, Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot. Oh, no. Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to... Has the common cold. Is that all? No. You're grumpy as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doctor, can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm. <coughs> 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 That's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or not. Expanding hands, itchy ears, hairy teeth, smelly noses, baldness. Ah, here it is, the common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar, and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un rond de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> Oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh! What's the plan for today, Nanny Plum? You're visiting the Elf Factory. Why? Well, Your Majesty, it's a very busy time of the year for the Elf Factory. What with Christmas coming up. So, what's that got to do with me? You have to inspect the toys and make sure they are perfect. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, it's not fun, Holly. The toys are always perfect and all I say is they're perfect. Do I have to go? Well, someone has to. They're expecting a royal visit. 
I could go and I could say the toys are perfect. Yes, why not? And Nanny Plum can go along too to look after you. Oh, goody! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. We've come to see the Elf Factory. Do you know where it is? Of course I do. I'm an elf. <laughs> so where is it? Follow me. <laughs> Ooh. This is the Elf Factory reception. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Princess Holly is here for the royal visit. I see. Could you sign in, please? Uh, what do I do? Just put your name and job. My name is Princess Holly and my job is being a pretty fairy princess. Very good. Now, you will need these hard hats. <laughs> and I notice you have wands. Yes, we're fairies. I'll need to take your wands. No magic is allowed in the elf factory. Elves don't do magic. And we are elves. <laughs> Oh, now... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the factory is very busy today. We have a big toy all... And then the witch locked the fairy and all the elves in a big cage. Help! Help! They shouted. Hee hee, I'll never let you go, said the witch. Oh no! Why did she lock the children up? Because the witch was very naughty and the children were annoying her. Ah! All the chasing around had made the witch hungry. So she ate a mouldy old cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ooh! Why did she eat a mouldy old cake? That's what witches eat. And she drank a glass of sour milk. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh! <laughs> After that, she fell asleep. Snore, snore, snore. She's asleep, said the fairy. Quick, let's escape. So the elves broke open the cage door and the fairy princess got her wand back. Ooh. Then the witch woke up. <gasps> Get back in your cage, cried the witch. But the fairy was already casting her spell. Zip, ping, current bun, witch's magic all undone. In a flash, all the children were set free and the witch, stuffed full of mouldy old cake, couldn't catch them. The end. Hooray! Then what happened, Mummy? Um, the witch was told off for being mean and nasty and made to wash dishes for the rest of her life. Ooh. Horrible things, witches. It's a good job they don't really exist, isn't it? Oh, but they do exist. I know a witch who lives in the woods. Really? Yes. I can take you to see her if you like. But won't she lock us up in a big cage? <laughs> no. Witches can sometimes be a bit naughty, but only when they get very annoyed. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. <laughs> <sighs> And here's your crown. All done. Whoa. Mornings are such hard work. <sighs> Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes, you can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes, well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? 
We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> two. <gasps> three. It took three puffs. That means three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. One. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to... Right. So, where are we going to sleep? That was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. Let's go and see how those elves are getting on. Hello. Have you fixed Gaston's cave yet? Gaston really misses his home, wise old elf. Good news. We've replaced the rotting wood, plastered the ceiling... And fixed the leak? No, not yet. But I'm sure in time we'll sort it out. Have you just tried moving this pebble? <sighs> Hooray! King Thistle's mended Gaston's cave. Well done, Daddy. Amazing work, Your Majesty. Have you ever thought of becoming a builder yourself? Uh, actually, no. I think I'll just stick to being king. Look, Gaston. Your cave's ready. You can go home now. <laughs> Gaston says thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. It was fun having you to stay. We'll be so sad to see you go. Gaston says he doesn't want you to be sad, so he'll come and stay with you for a bit longer. It's OK. I won't be that sad. Gaston insists, Your Majesty. Very well. Lovely. Ahem. <laughs> There was a little problem in the kitchen and I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle for one day, Your Majesties. Sorry. Oh. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh! oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. There. Lovely. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> How things work. Wow! A rocket book! There are books about music. Oh, Pum! 
music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes. I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny. The tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes, of course. So, Daddy, where does the sun go? Well, it... Ah, wise old elf. Oh, these books should answer that question, Your Majesty. Oof! Hooray! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Hooray! Bye! Be good! Bye bye! <laughs> Queen Holly. Hmm, I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Queen Holly. <laughs> Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Holly's much too busy to play today. She has a kingdom to run. Huh? Ben! Come up here, quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today, so I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, the... Sorry, Your Majesty. We haven't any bread this morning. No bread? Then please magic some up. I can't magic up bread without flour. And we've run out of flour. Well, can't we order more flour from the elves? I have. But as usual, the elf truck is late. <coughs> Nanny, the elf truck's here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Ollie. Food delivery. At last, Mr Elf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid King's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr Elf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. 
The king wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the elf windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Hello. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry. But Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh. King Marigold and I love good music. Ah. Uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. <laughs> So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me! We'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny Plum! More, more, more! Whoa! Oh, jelly Plum! Oh. The jelly is showing us the way out. Whoa! Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> the piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, ho, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's okay, Daddy. It sounds lovely. 
As long as you only play tunes with high notes. Tidy <laughs> up. Must tidy up. Hmm. I think I prefer the traditional fairy way. <laughs> I expect the robot has come to serve us our dinner. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Oh, Must tidy goodness up. me. I think we should tell this robot to stop. We can't. The robot only listens to Ben. So what can we do? Uh, Ben told the robot to tidy the whole castle. So maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. Good idea, Holly. The robot should have finished tidying by morning. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. What? Is it morning already? Uh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Uh. Uh. Goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes, including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Righto. Ben. There's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing. And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the... <laughs> I say... I'm getting a little hungry. Me too. I think I fancy fish and chips. We don't have any fish, Your Majesty. What? No fish? But I can magic up some fish fingers. Yum, yum. I like fish fingers. No, no. I want fresh fish. Fresh from the lake with chips. I know. Ben's dad has a fishing bite. Then we shall go and see Ben's dad. It's time we put the boat away for the winter, Ben. I'm pleased Bunty has made it through the summer with no accidents. What kind of accidents? The kind where the boat gets eaten. Eaten? Yes. Have I never told you the story of Big Bad Barry the fish? No. It was a dark and stormy night. I was sailing in my favourite boat when suddenly... A fish! A fish, Mr Elf. What's that? I want a fish for dinner with chips. Oh. So we'd like you to take us out on the lake to catch one. I was just putting Bunty away for the winter. Who's Bunty? My boat. Well, one more trip won't do any harm, will it? I'd rather not. Um, she might get wet. Mr Elf, your king commands you. OK. Climb aboard. <laughs> You'll have to leave your wands here. Magic isn't allowed on elf boats. And, and where else? <laughs> Let's get going. I'll do the steering. Hang on a minute. You might be king on land, Your Majesty, but on this boat, I'm the captain. So I'm in charge. All right, Captain. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Daddy! Hmm. What is it, darling? I don't want a birthday. You don't want a birthday? No. Why on earth not? I don't like my birthday. Every year we make a big song and dance about the fact that I'm getting older. But we always celebrate your birthday. The elves hold a big party with music, dancing and fireworks. It's so much fun. Yes. Well... Today is going to be different. No birthday party. Da 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 da! 
Happy birthday, your majesty. Here's your cake. Shush, Nanny Plum. Sorry there aren't enough candles. There should be one for every year, but we'd need... Stop going on about how old I am. But, darling, you're only... And no cake. Take it away. No cake? I've baked loads of cakes for the party. I don't care. No cakes and no birthday. Oh, I suppose I'll just have to eat all the cakes myself. Why doesn't Daddy want a birthday? He doesn't like getting older. Who does? I do. Oh, well. I'd better cancel the fireworks. I can't wait for the King's birthday party. Me too. We've got a really big firework to let off. Yes. It's as big as a carrot. Ho, ho, ho. And there'll be music, dancing and cakes. Everyone loves King Thistle's birthday party. Firework delivery for King Thistle's birthday party. Oh, Ben, there's not going to be a party. No, no party? party? King Thistle has decided he doesn't like getting older. Who does? I do. So... There won't be any fireworks now. Or music. Or dancing. <sighs> We'd better take this delivery back to the elf tree. Charles sensitive dish. Mm, how wonderful. I can barely taste it. Does it come with any potatoes? Uh, no. Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. No problem. These leftover potatoes, carrots, onions, peas and cheese have made a lovely soup. Ooh, yummy! Um, this scheme is delicious, of course, but will there be anything else to follow? Yes, even though it's very filling, I could eat a tiny something more. I could eat a lot, lot more. <laughs> What's that lovely smell? It's coming from the kitchen. This is delicious, Nanny. Mmm, it's the best. I say, what's this? It's just the children's supper. It smells very nice. It's only some soup I made from the leftovers. It's not very modern. You wouldn't like it. Could I try just a little bit? The taste is so tasty. Can I try some too? And me. And me. Oh, yes. So filling. <laughs> Marvellous, Nanny. Ahem. I have an announcement to make. Nanny Plum is in the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Now, what would everyone like for pudding? Something modern or my treacle pudding? Treacle pudding! <laughs> A scaly tail? This bird is so rare, I don't even know it. I've discovered a new bird. It shall be named the King Thistlebird. If you say so, Your Majesty. But I don't want that filthy, smelly rodent in my kitchen. Nanny Plum, that's no way to talk about the King Thistlebird. We must let it lay its eggs in peace. I don't think rats lay eggs. Rats? <laughs> ah, <the> rats! <laughs> Oh, you've got rats! Get rid of it! Yes, shoo, shoo! Get out of here, you filthy rat! <laughs> no, Your Majesty. The King Thistlebird must be allowed to stay. What? Your law says no nesting animal may be disturbed. Did I say that? Yes, Daddy. Well, um, maybe the law should say, um, uh... Let me see this law. You see, it's in writing. There's nothing we can do about it. As Queen, I declare this silly law abolished. <gasps> now, get this rat out of my castle. Um, Nanny Plum, you speak rat. Tell it to leave, please. Now, what's rat for please leave? Oh, yes. Ahem. Get out of my kitchen! <laughs> oh, Nanny! 
You've hurt a rat's feelings. I think I can live with that. <sighs> Why does knitting have to be so noisy? What? Daddy, it's brilliant. The baby woodpeckers are here. Now you can tick them off in your book. Ah, yes. Lovely. Honestly, darling, why do you have to have such a noisy hobby? No time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is King's work to be done. What King's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> OK, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well, I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. And elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston! <laughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh. OK. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. OK. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. Ah, how did the toy inspection go? It... <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the Wise Old Elf. <gasps> you know the Wise Old Elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. It stopped. I want it to go again. Oh, yes, again, again, again. More, more, more. OK. Oh, vroom, vroom. <laughs> King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this party started. Hooray! Musical statues. When the music stops, you have to stand as still as a statue. 
Aha! Raspberry, I saw you move. And you, Nettle. That's because they haven't been turned to stone yet. Ah! Strawberry! You've magicked them into real statues. Of course. That's how we fairies play musical statues. This is not a fairy party. Turn them back to normal. OK. The big children's ones are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now, I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Ah! Oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Ah! Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Thistle, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the Two of Hearts. Your card is the Two of Hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. Yes, Your Majesty. Where are you going? Nanny. I'm returning these leaves. Wait for us, Nanny. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Well, the best at sweeping. Hello, wise old owl. <gasps> I believe these are your leaves. Oh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. Such beautiful colours. Look, the leaves in your hats have changed colour too. Oh, so they have. Hmm, interesting. Let's play tag. OK. Tag. You're it. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> tag. <laughs> Can't catch me. Ooh, look, a birdie. Where? Tag. <laughs> You tricked me! <laughs> Tag! Holly Zip! Can't catch me! I'm too fast! <laughs> oh, look! A squirrel! You can't trick me like that! No, Ben. There really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look! He's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr Elf. What's going on? It might be Acorn Day. What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves! Acorn Day has begun! Don't panic! Please leave the elf tree immediately! It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's... May I present the Elf Factory's latest toy, the Elf Submarine. Ah, yes. Jolly good. Does it float? Does it float? Of course it floats. Allow us to demonstrate. We carefully chose this day to test the submarine, as there are no other boats on the lake. Hello, me hearties! It's Redbeard, the elf pirate! Yo ho ho! Land ahoy! Um, should the ship be leaning like that? Maybe it's the weight of all that treasure. Sea sinking! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! <laughs> Curses! Me ship and me treasure gone down to the bottom of the sea. How sad. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a perfect day to test the submarine with no boats on the lake. But what about Mr Redbeard's treasure? Yes, me treasure! How will I get it back? 
If only we had some way of sailing underwater to look for it. Ah, if only. Anyway, back to my submarine. Uh, there's the a... submarine! We can use the submarine! Clever Ben! Hang on! The elf submarine is a toy! It's not for going on adventures. Oh, so it can't go underwater? Yes, it can. It'll probably sink like a stone. No, it will not. Good. That's that sorted. Captain Redbeard, our submarine is at your service. Thank you, Your Majesty. But... But I'll be needing a crew. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Can I come? And me. I'd better come too. If there's any trouble, I can use magic to help us. No, Nanny Palum. There will be no magic on the elf submarine. Because...